In Commitment 2024, five candidates are fighting for an open seat in the Republican primary. They're wanting to represent Northwest Guilford County in the state house. And the Republicans include three men and two women, some with experience, some without. Bill O'Neill joins us with a preview of the GOP primary for the 62nd House race. Republicans are looking for someone to replace the retiring John Faircloth, who held the seat for 14 years. Voters have a diverse field of candidates to choose from. Meet the candidates Jackson Barber, Michelle Bardsley, John Blust, Britt Moore, and Ann Schneider. Schneider currently serves on the Oak Ridge Town Council. I'm running as a common sense conservative for House District, uh, uh, State House District 62. I want to continue John Faircloth's legacy. Moore is currently on the High Point City Council. I hope that the fact that I've been reelected five times um, speaks to the record and not just maybe what I've said along the campaign trail. Um, I've worked hard at it. Um, I'm passionate about it. Blust is a former member of the North Carolina House and Senate. I've actually been there and done it. I've got a record and I've done it even if it's going to hurt me. Bardsley ran for a different house seat in 2022, which she lost. Why, why do you want to do this? <laughs> it's about leadership too, Bill. It's really about leadership. Um, it's having a heart to serve, a heart to ser solve problems. On abortion, we asked the candidates whether they'd go beyond North Carolina's current 12-week ban, and two of the candidates' answers stand out. Could you make it clear to the voters in this district where you stand on abortion? Absolutely. Um, I believe that abortion should be outlawed at any stage of pregnancy. Period. Period. Any uh, exceptions like incest, life of the mother, anything like that? No exceptions. Well, I am more pro-life than I am anything else. If there's a bill to ban abortion in North Carolina, would you support it? It depends on the people of North Carolina and what they're going to say about <clears throat> it. If it were to come before you in the legislature? At this time, I don't know what I would do. On vouchers, North Carolina's expansion of public money to private schools, one candidate's answer stands out. Do you support then uh, expanding the amount of public money spent on private schools? I don't think I do. I, I don't think that, that I, I think there needs to be some clarification on where all that has gone though, too. You're not in favor of, of that kind of expansion. No, I don't think so. The consensus among candidates in this race is that private school vouchers make for better education. I think it's important that we have all types of schools and that our public schools, together with private schools and public charter schools, are all striving for one thing, to provide excellence in education to our children in our state. We asked the candidates about taxes. Would you want to reduce the uh, income tax on the state? Uh, I'd certainly look at it, but I'd have to have staff and go over the numbers before I'm say, think, what is it now, 4.99? We're down to 4.5. Would you favor eliminating the personal income tax? I would favor that. You know, obviously we couldn't do that all at once, but I would favor that, absolutely. Would you support raising the sales tax to replace that lost revenue? I, I would consider that as an option, yes. You want to cut taxes? Yes. Income tax? State income tax, yes. You want to eliminate it? No, I think it's probably necessary, but I think we need to find the legislature's done a great business, a great, a great job of lowering the taxes this past year. But continuing to develop our economy and as our state grows, we may be able to lower it even further. We ended our sit down interviews by asking the candidates what they have to offer voters. I'm going to work to preserve our values, protect our citizens, and provide opportunities for a brighter future. My goals in Raleigh are to champion pro-life values, to reform our education system, strengthen our law enforcement, and grow our economy. I'm extremely pro-manufacturing and domestic manufacturing, um, and I think that will give us the foundation to reestablish um, our greatness. I have the experience and the leadership skills 
to be the best state House representative we can have for this district? I will champion some of the reforms. I don't really talk about that much in a campaign because the average voter will absolutely not understand um, what you're talking about. I think if they did, they would say, yes, exactly what he's saying is right. I With five candidates in this race, the challenge is gonna be for one of them to win at least 30% of the vote and avoid a runoff. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.